part of the Philippines, lancha is life for a lot of families. That's the term for these big boats. And today, our friend's dad, or Oto and Sama Ubian, he invited us to come along to go visit his relatives. So we're headed off, we're on a mission. We're gonna have a great day. in there. Uh, we're making our way right now. We passed Patawan Island. We're heading towards Barangay, Villa Luya, and Mataraza. We're going to make our way up the west coast of Palawan. Uh, it's a little bit windy. There's waves, but you don't really feel them so much in this thing. It is a beast. Absolutely love it. Capias, Capias? Capias. Capias. What? what a treat. That is Capias Island. We're in Bataraza. We're off the west coast. This is probably only two or three kilometers from the coast itself, so it's totally accessible. Uh, but for me right now, I'm a couple hundred meters away, and another accessible option is to jump in and swim. But in Sama Ubian, we say Palaxo. Palangi. Palangi. Palaxo and Palangi. <laughs> I'm in a Palaxo and I'm in a Palangi. <laughs> See you in there. Woo! <laughs> all right, I got a mask all the way from Malaysia. Let's see what's under the water. <laughs> There's a lot of life under there. I'm just struggling with this mask. Uh, I can only show you a little bit because I, I couldn't really kept filling up with water and whatnot. But man, you can just go through little sections of nothing and then boom, big corals, lots of fish. I can imagine what's going on around this place. Again, the corals will stretch out forever. Um, we made it. Capias Island. Gotta wait for Kumar, he's coming over on the boat and go for a little walk. That's so dope, Kumar's just paddling himself over the little bunker we took this morning. Oh, how's your bug's eye? Oculus Express, sir. <laughs> Who wants to tell me I should just pop it here for a sec? He thinks he sees a lot of corals, so give it another go. When in Capias, you go under the water with your mask and you check out things.
Hi. Hi. Hello, this is Ishmael. He's Tausuk and he's one of the caretakers of the island. We just chatted for a long time. Oh, I guess. So I'm gonna come. Thank you. See you again. Welcome to Brungai Tagulangu. Sun's come out again, Brad. It's beautiful. Right here is the meditation. Oh yeah, this is the mainland. We made it. We're back, back to the mainland. How is that? I see the Malau. 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 I know classy. And I know classy Malau. Is it anything? That. Oh, is it? Solid. 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 Straight up. Oh, man. It's so good. So good. It's so good. It's so good. So good. So good. So I know Sam will be in Master Up. Absana. 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 Samulbog. Mopia. Mopia. Mopia Samulbog. That's a local Samulbog. That's a local it's good, man. It's so soft. Sana. It's like a soft potato. Bye bye, Brad. Sanka. Bye bye. Sanka. 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 Ayo, ayo. I'm thinking, you got. We gotta find a motor and drive roughly an hour back towards Bilaluyan. What an experience. Hey Brad, where do you want to be when the world ends? Here. Here. Right here. You see that boat, twin engine speed boat, handmade from the mind. The locals here don't sketch, they just straight up build. This will run you roughly 350,000 pesos and this thing is going to be a cargo boat all the way to Mangsi, almost Malaysia. It is absolutely incredible and this is a Sama Ubi in Baha'i. Of course uh, they're up on stilts and it gives an opportunity to hang out kind of underneath or do work. Uh, they're very open, open space. And then over here, speedboat? Another, another speedboat. Maliet though, no? Maliet? Right here. My gosh. And then behind it, 
a luncha, a huge luncha. It's like every person here just builds boats. It's like lahat, like building boats, no? That's amazing. And what's your name again, Ben? Alex. Alex, yeah. yeah Alex. You're not here, no? no? Yeah, Alex lives here, so. Uh, he's helping us get some motors. We're gonna have to cruise back about an hour on the more concreted road because the shortcut's a bit muddy today, so. Cool, man, I guess. It's really amazing. Oh, not even one month. You're gonna build a whole speedboat. Yeah. Just you, solo? Mm. By yourself? Mm. No, and it's just here. No way! He's building this by himself from his mind in less than a month. Dude. Correction, he's got one friend with him, one friend helping. But still, it's incredible. Okay, I'll let you know when we get motors. Dude, do you know that your driver, who we didn't see on camera because I put it away because when we got off the bumpy, <laughs> it was like half kind of bumpy road uh, through little sitios and brungais and then we hit the main highway so I put the camera away but he's the main boat builder yeah. and okay. he's the one, he's trained the other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, my my driver, 18, Abdul, is from Mangsi and he's just working there in that brungai. They're so cool. We made it back. We're in Vila Luyan. There we go. We're going to have a coffee. What a, what an adventure. See you in a bit. There's no boats, man. <laughs> yeah, bye bye. No better feeling in the world than working for your back. Here you go. Turn us out. We're passing through Rio Tuba. It's been about 45 minutes. We're heading for Bataraza, the main Pabasha. Back on the road, 4 p.m. Behind the Caltex, Bataraza, Rocco Espresso, it's a stop. Brown What? We are the brown <laughs> That was a really amazing epic adventure and we definitely need this Kahawa so to keep powering us up. We're gonna try and go to Brooks Point. And stop. <laughs> no, but amazing, like an overload of beauty. Uh, so many things to reflect on. Kahawa so is strong and Tawasog. Cafe. Kumar's enjoying the signal. Yeah, I don't have signal for three days, four days, I don't know. Attached to the coffee shop is a nice, clean, open place to stay, two beds, affordable price, has a CR. And I want to show you this because I guarantee you that Kumar is just high high and enjoying the signal on the Wi-Fi right now. Uh-huh. You're, you're, uh. you're loving it. Uh, yeah, it's literally attached to the coffee shop. I just love how spacious this is. Look at, 
Batraza. The sun is setting. Oh, there's a giant pineapple. Bro, do you see the giant pineapple? This is the pineapple town. I think it's the pineapple capital of Palawan. We should probably eat pineapple. Huh? Before, before we say goodnight too, do, do you guys have any pineapples around here? Yes, they're also in the, the, oh, in the area. We should have picked some up earlier. Yes. Sayang, this is the wonderful owner. He's a nice guy from Zamboanga City. Uh, okay. And see my pangalan again? See? Uh, and see my pangalan? Uh, okay, sir. You can call okay. me Ike. Ike? Cool. Yeah, K. Just K. K? Oh, that's so easy. Okay. <laughs> yes. K. Nice. Uh, basically, he married a Taosog and he lives here in Bataraza. <laughs> so we were chatting earlier. Yeah. Uh, sorry, we're so haggard. <laughs> you like your place. It's great. <laughs> Partner, both of you? Yeah, we just rock and roll. Me and him, we just, you know. Oh, yeah. Wait, oh. Now I'm gonna show you the giant pineapple on the drone. Bisaya. Now, good night. We got it. We got it. Thank you. We got it. I thought I thought I was gonna end my video earlier, but oh, I'm in. What is it, the mango? No way. This one is the later. Oh man, dessert. Hello. <laughs> Super friendly. It's Kay and Faiza. They're awesome. We've just been chatting a lot, so and they found some pineapple for us. So after we eat some of this delicious food, we're gonna finally end this video tasting the pineapple. <laughs> Chicken tea sick, no? Nice. Tamis piña. Oh, that was a really tummy stuff, please. But if they're gonna give me a sour sour and a vaccine, I'm gonna do it. Things you never think you'll do in your life growing up as a Canadian. Dip pineapples into salt, but sweet and salty. Welcome to the Philippines. I'm good. Mm. I'm, no, no. Mm.